Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Kyle, and I sell old, used stuff on eBay, and occasionally I send some new stuff into Amazon and some books also. If you guys are new to watching and that's something y'all are interested in, please hit that subscribe button down below. All the support is greatly appreciated. For everyone that has been watching, this is going to be another one of my um, thrift haul videos where I have compiled everything that I bought for the week into one video. I'm going to show you guys what I got, how much I paid for it, and how much I expect it to sell for. Now, I must be honest with you guys, the video is not that long and I did not pick up that much stuff because, as y'all know, my wife and I just had our third baby. You know, that was Michael and Carol. She's wondering when we're going to come over and see the baby. Oh, see the baby. Again with the baby. Who are they? Oh, this guy used to live in the building. They keep calling us to see the baby. You gotta see the baby. <laughs> when are you gonna see the baby? Can't they just send us a tape? And since the third baby, I have not been thrifting at all. I picked up all of this stuff the one day that I got to go before this all happened. So YouTube's been a little bit slow for me, but nonetheless, let's get thrifting. All right, right here is an excellent brand of cowboy boots that you guys want to keep an eye out for. The brand is Lou Casey. No, it's not Lou Cheesy or anything else that I've heard it called. It's Lou Casey. Uh, really good boots, uh, very expensive to buy new. Unfortunately, this pair was just too torn up. It is lizard skin, which would have made it even more valuable. Uh, but the toes were just too torn up. You guys can see right here that it sells for about $150 to $200 for the lizard skin if in good condition. Next here is a brand that I sell at least once a week in the kitchenware items. The brand here is All Clad. This is actually a boiler insert for $649 and I went ahead and listed it for $99 and it has two watchers. Next is a lacrosse helmet right here. The R model is the second best. If you guys find Cascade S, that is the best uh, model for $449. I listed it for $74.99, and I think it will sell for that. Next is some used media. You guys know I always look up new stuff. This right here was a Prince 2002 sealed CD set and it was selling for $250 on Amazon. Unfortunately, I was gated, but some solds on eBay did show $150 to $200, so that's what I listed mine at. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. Right here, sitting in the bins, is a pair of Nike Kobe. You talk about elevation. Chick, he went up to the rafters before he decided to. You guys, Nike is usually priced too expensive for me, but for sixteen forty-nine, these fell through the cracks, and they were selling from eighty to one hundred and fifty dollars. So mine, with a broken lace, listed at one twenty. Here is an item that you guys should always look for, Casted Iron. This is a uh, cornbread maker by Lodge. They wanted $20 for it, and unfortunately that is too expensive for this specific piece. I had to leave it behind. Next is a Beyblade sealed in the package here. This is a toy that is fairly popular. This specific one sells for $34.99. Okay, here is the shirt in the thumbnail. You guys leave a comment down below if y'all buy Barber. I always pick up their jackets and pants, but I find that the shirts do not sell for as much money. This one was just such nice color that I did go ahead and pick it up, and I think I'll get between $30 and $40 for it. Next here is an item that every reseller should be looking for, Black & Decker Space Maker specifically. The Space Maker model is what is the seller. There was two of these side by side, the larger one right there, 
both were 559 and um, I went ahead and picked both of them up. Here is the smaller one right here, also 599, or 559. You guys can see that it's a space maker because of the side of it. The larger one should sell for about 75 plus shipping, and the smaller one 40 to 50 plus shipping. Here is a NBA Milwaukee Giannis jersey, and although it's a Fanatics replica jersey with it being basketball season and it's the finals version i think i can get around 30 to 35 dollars for this jersey so that's an easy pickup all right if you guys enjoyed that please hit the thumbs up for me i hope y'all stuck around for the whole video and learned something new and i will see you guys next time